Am I the asshole for telling my dad I won't be cooking for my future husband and that I won't be treated like a slave? <laughs> Why do? <laughs> okay. 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 So my entire family comes from an African country. I was going to say, there's no way. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way these people aren't black. No, no they, 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 they have to be. Exactly. And then I was thinking they're probably Nigerian. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, so my entire family comes from an African family. And in this country, it's a tradition or it's normal that the wife cooks for the man and she's the housewife. I personally don't agree with this rule. And I've been fighting about it with my dad nonstop. Uh-uh. Nonstop. Do you know why it's not having any other family affairs to be dealing with <laughs> other than this <laughs> Just cooking. Oh, like, just the cooking. Is, like, how are you fighting with someone that's not even your husband? Like, yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's not man. gonna, it's not gonna, he's yeah, not gonna not, not benefit. Being a man do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like anyway. Come on, on, man. Anyway. <laughs> Go on, I, I wanna hear. <laughs> He just won't accept that the fact that I'm not going to be a stay-at-home mum who works like a slave and I'm not the best cook. So my dad is always says that, how are you going to cook for your future husband and forces me to stay in the kitchen whilst, whilst my mum is cooking? Let's stop. Let's, let's, let's pause. I know we keep on pausing, but let's yeah. pause. Let's talk about that because that's something that I had to like tell my mum to stop. And even my dad, to be honest, where it's like every single small fault or like any situation that they can bring your husband. up. Eh, so is this how you would do in your marital mm. home? Uh-uh. Bro, I Just don't want to wash the place up. now. You know I wash it in two hours. Like, let me chill. Now it's the whole family. Your whole future's in jeopardy. <laughs> really? <laughs> the whole marriage is on the, the line. The thing is though, yeah, why, why, why does it have to be such a strong statement of a slave? Why are you a yeah, slave yeah, just, because, just because you're cooking? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, it's like, like, yeah, she's locking like, it. She's locking it. She's locking it. She's locking it. She's locking it. I know in some cases, I can't lie, mm. the daughter is the, is the house girl. Yeah, no, nah, I do fair, hear I hear it. that. I do hear like, it. You, know how, you know how we're like, both parties will like be going out and working and then they'll come back from a late shift and it's like the husband will just sit there and then just be waiting for the wife to cook. Mm. Yeah. So like, I, like those about would, that I can understand where the slave mentality comes, comes from. from. But, yeah, it's a bit strong, you know. But I'm even talking about in the sense where like, you know, when you have your family, like you have your mum and your dad, they maybe mm. have like your, maybe have like, we, well, we have brothers. Yeah. So imagine like, you're the only one that's doing everything. Mm. And then, I don't know about you guys, but did your mom and said, come to the kitchen and watch me cook? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Sorry, Bro, I was never watching. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. No, sometimes I've watched. Sometimes I've watched. Um, but like, yeah, I just find it jarring how it's always that. But I never see, well, to be fair, I never ever hear that like generally with guys. I don't know if you ever had that experience where mm. there's always a comparison like with women, you're set up to like, your, basically, your whole childhood is a preparation for marriage. That's what I feel like it is, yeah. <laughs> and I feel like men are just there, just cruising. Just there. How shimmies. do you not feel about that? Is that, is that like sad to you or is that it, it's cool? It's very is sad. sad. What else is it going to be? I, I'm just asking. It's very, very asking. sad. I didn't, I didn't conform, good. so. I'm uh, right. It'd be good to get your perspective because you have an older sister. Yeah, yeah, So like, yeah, yeah. Where, was your sister cooking and where you? Where were you? No. She, okay. she, no, my, 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 my sister wasn't cooking. My mum was cooking. Mm. Like, it was my mum, but... I wouldn't say my mum is like real traditional African woman in yeah. like her morals and her actions, right? Yeah. So it wasn't like she, yeah, she weren't really like pressuring my sister to be in the kitchen and be like, oh, you got to be like this for X, Y, and Z. Mm. Like, so I never saw that personally. Um, but I mean, I like the... I like the balance situation. I don't mind stepping in the kitchen too. Mm. Like, I do like to cook, yeah. Mm. But I do like it when, you know, mm. I know that so there's a I. woman who can cook for me as well. Nah, mm. so do I. I want you a man that can cook for me too, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I hear it. There's it's a balance. Yeah, yeah, no, it's balance. <laughs> Do Sorry, you think me. in your home it will be 50-50 or would you expect, honestly speaking? Look at what he even said he likes it, bro. It's only 50-50. Let's not, let's not even Jeez. count, man. Jeez, man. Uh, Look at the way his face even beamed up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about men, man. Don't be oh, promising. No, 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 Fake promises all day. Nah, Don't worry, baby. Right. I'm going to cook for you. Let me learn. Me Meanwhile, you've been cooking for five weeks. He's <laughs> not made any attempts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Not even uh, crying Would I would okay. I mean, there's gotta be a Okay, so Anna. Our men. We finish. Oh god, we finish. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me like, let me like. I'm just I'm, I'm loading in there. I'm loading. Okay. Okay. Do you want your man to be the breadwinner in the house? Oh god. Would you like like So does that is that is that what it equates to if you're no, 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 no. questions? It was, so it was, it was it's questions. just a leading question. Okay, yes. You do. All of yes. I'm answering for all. For everyone. I'm answering for care. all. Okay. I'm answering for all, yes. Okay, but cool. Because nice. I feel like there's a big... If, 
if a woman, nah, I'm gonna. Wait, 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 you can be the breadwinner, but because of how your work or environment is set up, you're at home. Like, I don't have to explain it. Like, obviously, we know yeah. it's jarring sometimes when you're working from home and your mum's just like, oh, ah, but you're at home, you're not doing anything. Like, can it's you go and help me get off? Obviously, you're still working, but there is some sort of, you know, relief where you're not having to travel and do like a long commute, which even ties you even more. Yeah. And you're able to like, in some ways, like juggle small things here and that. For example, when I work from home, I can always like do my laundry. I just cook it yeah. downstairs, mm, yeah. five minute break, chuck it in. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can still do stuff around the house that helps. And you can be a breadwinner in that sense where you're earning big money. You have, mm. Maybe you have, a I don't know, a company or whatever it is. You may even be like, you know, like Tunji where like you're a freelancer. You go out, you do sort of things. But obviously you, your base might be at home where you're working, editing, doing all that sort of thing. So in that scenario, if I've now, if I'm the person where I've gone out, Right, and I've worked the same hours that you have, but I'm having to also add on a commute. Whereas you're at home and you have that time to like relax yeah, a little you bit have in a lot between. Of free time. Come on, man! Like you can, you can. But we're talking about marriage, though, no? Mm. Yeah, we? well, we're talking about setting up in where two people are living together. Oh, okay, sorry, because I was thinking more about marriage, kids, life like that. Okay, that's what I was thinking. And okay. when that when that situation comes into it, more time in society today is a situation where. Woman will be like the woman will be the one, the nurturing, yeah, uh, partner, right? So yeah. they're the ones who are looking after the kids more time. Mm. Mm. So there's got to be, let's say, like a balance that is struck between the man and the woman within the house. More time is a situation where the man is the one like trying to make enough money to mm. get the income in for the household, mm. and the woman is, um, at home with the kids, probably doing a job as well herself. But it's very hard to balance a job and looking after kids as well. Because like I've seen from the women in my family, mm. kids is it's, it's, it's a whole job in itself. 100%. Mm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? 100%. Yeah. And I don't even know how people do it. Like, I don't even yeah. know how people balance. Like yeah. I, I, I've seen it done and I see it. It's, it's, it's a hard thing to do. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. So from what I've seen anyway, more time is... Um, the man who will take up that role of just like providing. Yeah, I suppose just being the breadwinner. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that. But to be honest, like I feel like it's uh it's quite a healthy way. A healthy of way going to split. Up. Yeah, I okay. think so, personally. Sorry, what's I the split? Think, I think everyone should just do what they enjoy. And I if hear you, that. If you Sometimes find a but, but, listen. if you find a situation where like both of you don't like cooking, then I think it's gonna you're gonna have to have a discussion about how you split that up. Mm. Yeah, you get what I mean. I always make it no, I don't like cooking. <laughs> mm. you know so I mean? if they're expecting gourmet, gourmet like I said, chopping pounded parsley, yam. That's <laughs> pounded yam. Oh, pounded yam in it. You see, mm. Mm. carry on. With that. We will be on this for too long. Carry on with the dilemma. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? No, no, no. Sorry, but why did you say pounded yam? Because you're like. Not that you're going to have to do stuff that you don't like to do, but you're going to have to do stuff that you don't like to do. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I know. I know. You, but I'm if saying... you want to eat pounded jam, but you don't like cooking, you're still going to make it. Do you know what I mean? No, I, I know, but what I'm I saying is... make foods I can I'm, eat. No, but what I'm saying is, if I'm going into a situation, I've already made it known. Yeah. I don't really like cooking. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe there's one or two times a week that you probably cook, but it's not like every day. I'm going to be in the kitchen no, no, no. boiling, Even frying. Even the people that like cooking. <laughs> boiling, frying, frying frying slicing, um, um, dicing. grilling, dicing. <laughs> I'm not going to be, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be there. And then you're saying that if I'll be working as well, so I'll be coming home, boiling, no, dicing, yeah, that's what frying, I'm saying. I grilling. genuinely Honestly, feel that like it has Honestly, that conversation we had different. about our parents and like how they would go and do shopping and then they would just go the straight mom, to the kitchen and start frying and just bro, start. Bro, I saw one TikTok like, scaling the fish. Like, what's that? This woman, she like is a nurse and she worked 13 hours. Yes. Did you see it? Yes. Bro, she didn't even take off her clothes straight to the straight kitchen. Straight to the kitchen. And she said, I'm praying for my man. My, yeah, my husband expects a meal when he gets home from work. <sighs> what about when I, you get I, home and, from and work? And she's been in, she's been so in the hospital been? for 13 hours. But also, but he hadn't arrived by then. So yeah, he hadn't arrived. That's a fair, that's a Yeah, but we don't know yeah, what kind of shift she's hours. done. True. She could have done morning till morning. Yeah, no, it's not. 13, do you, mm -hmm. do you know what 13 hours are? No, you go sitting down. No, no, no. Diving. Very, you're on your feet. Your babies. Someone's sick. Someone's coughing. Then you come back cooking, dicing. And the thing, do you know what made me laugh? Your second and the baby. thing is, do you know what made me laugh about that TikTok? They dragged her oh. for not taking off her clothes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, but it's true though. They were like, <laughs> you've been in like, the hospital hey, all day and now you're cooking food. Yeah, and I it's just that. like, she's probably thinking, I, I just can't mean, get it right. they've no, got a point. True. No, of course it's true. Especially if you work with someone. Especially if you work with someone. It's just kind of like, 
You can't catch a break. You yeah, can't even catch a break. No, but sorry, but if you've lived with someone that's like in the medical field, no, like you would course, know how important course, it is to like, you come off the door. Is, yeah. the you even hug your kids, man. Yeah. Bruv. You no, I don't. What I'm saying is clearly... Clearly, she had a rough day. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, the woman is tired, bro. She's tired. 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 She's t
brown, no nothing. Just anchor. Just anchor. Lie. That anchor not was even the girl. An- it was the girl. I was going to say, that anchor Ciao. was not anchoring anything. That's why Spotify <laughs> had to buy them. Because yeah, really and truly. They were just messing yeah, up. No, yeah, it was a mess. Um, no, anyway, that's how you know he's actually a true friend. Cool. Sure, real man. Um, but a yes, true supporter. A true yeah, supporter. for real, man. Oh, for real. We are even honoured and graced no, we're to be honored. in your no, presence. We're honoured no, no, and... No, no. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. It's an honour and it's a privilege. No! You know when you came on our pod the first time, how many followers did you have on yeah, Instagram? Yeah, you have then? to have to. How think many about Can you let him then? introduce himself? Oh, Wait, sorry. before yeah. we, let, let's just yeah, let's, let's build it up. Let's build it up. Yeah. Nice, okay, nice, nice. Yeah. How many followers did I have? Probably about three thousand. Oh, oh damn! You. That um, is ins- Wait, on what platform? Instagram. In Instagram, it would have been three to five k. Yeah. Um, TikTok, it probably would have been about sixty k, maybe. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Damn. So please, now that we've known your previous stats, <laughs> tell us who to upgrade us with the yeah, with the current, with the current and, and with the current stats. You now introduce yourself so yeah. we can now follow you. Uh-huh. Say the word, say the Alright, cool. So it's your boy Lockdown T. Come on, Woo. Yeah. Woo. Lockdown T in the building. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Um. And yeah, right now we're sitting at. 156k on That's Instagram. That's insane. Do you know how hard it is to get a single yeah, follower on Instagram? Fam, let's not say our uh, story. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not. Let's really not even go there. But and, wow. then t- and then on TikTok. Please, just a crumb. TikTok, <laughs> we have just hit 509 God. Thousand. God, oh, yeah. God damn. I hit, I hit half a million if you about believe a week in ago. God, make some noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, man. You give Bro, God the glory on, each and every time, man. Amen. Right Amen. Now. Yeah, man. Work but, great is fam. different. I remember when you came to my house that time when we were doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you guys did. Oh, Tunji oh, put me to work in your own house. Never ever walking on the street. No, no, no. Legit hit. Oh my gosh, so many different <laughs> angles. Let's do this. Let's slide this. I, I and this screaming. was back when I didn't even have TikTok. Yeah. You know, I was trying to like, yeah. I was trying to fight it for a long time. Yeah. Like, I don't want another social media. Fight part of you as well. No, no. Bro, we were trying to fight it now. Hey. In the middle um, of the night. For real, for real. <laughs> anyway, no, work no. rate is different. Like you Thank more you. than yeah, deserve it. Like, it's you. crazy. For real. Ah. For real. I appreciate it. If there's not, a, you know when you think about a perfect anecdote about just like start something and actually just stick to it. Yeah. yeah. I will say that Tunji is like the prime example yes. of that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I just think about like lockdown and the whole experience of lockdown mm-hmm. and how it came about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know when it's like you hear someone do something different, ah, what's this now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Interesting. And you gotta I, fight that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah, fight yeah. that. And first. I can't lie to you, if I'm real, when you first of all did that, I was like, okay, cool. Like, like so what happens when lockdown's finished? Yeah. You know when you start thinking about those things, but then yeah. some people you will be you'll be thinking that as well. I'm yeah. thinking maybe I shouldn't do it because then I don't really know how it would. You know, continue yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lockdown has passed. Lockdown has passed, yeah, and we're starting. still here, baby. Come on. Still here, man. Come we're on. Still Come here, on. better than ever. It's crazy. How did quickly so that before we like get onto the uh, topic and song mm. blah, blah blah blah? But can you explain like how? You came up with this idea. Was this always something that you wanted to do? Obviously, I know that you're an actor and stuff, and so you've mm. always been creative. Yeah. But like, oh, hey, you... sorry, all the was it origin? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm hey. For context, hey. Tunji and I went to the same uni, and yep. we had a um, culture show. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I went ACS. to one of them. ACS. Did you? I went yes. to one of them. Oh, I'm trying, cool. to remember, I'm trying to remember. But Tinji was acting before that boy. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, <laughs> he's got a catalog. Wait, oh, I remember the Can one luck. I went. I remember the one I went to. Yeah, oh, I can't. I don't know if you. I don't know if you were there. No, it wasn't origin. It must have been something else. I, I was in all of them. There was one year where there was a fashion show. Yeah. Oh, and that was, I wasn't in that one. That and then two people anything. just came and then they just did one thing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the stage, that. Everybody's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. What was it? Oh, it was Steph's thing, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. She did like a fashion show thing, innit? But then there was a couple of things that like we did mm. at uni. There was, um, Chess did the play. Oh, yeah. And was I thought that. that? I've, mm, uh, Sharon, I think was were you an actress in uni? Uh, you no, you sh- I mean uh, you should have been, no. I think so, probably. And that I think that was the first time at uni that people like saw me acting because mm. yeah, I did that, and yeah, that that was 
that was cool. That was cool. That was really like putting myself out there. Mm. And I suppose then from that, how like everything started with my content, mm. everyone at uni was kind of a bit like, oh, okay, like, I get it now mm. because we've already seen you yeah, acting do, a I little mean, bit yeah, at yeah, uni yeah, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. You warmed them up, man. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? But it is one of them ones where it's a bit daunting at first because, yeah, you're a bit like, people are going to think I'm a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit silly or a little yeah. bit like, like you just never know how people are going to perceive see what it, you're doing it, yeah. at first. But that's why <laughs> when I started out, I was really like focusing on who my market is. So I knew that from my following on like my personal account, because mm. obviously I was trying to like convert. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Literally, I don't even use my personal account yeah. anymore. Mm. I was trying to convert everyone from my personal account onto my Lockdown T account, mm. right? Or it was Lockdown Chronicles at the time, because mm. that's what I started oh, as. Yeah, and that yeah, was like the brand. But then I was like, nah, like I'm a personality. So let me just change it. Lockdown T, Tunji mm. T. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So boom. And I was just like, yeah, cool. I've got uni people and I've got people that I know from back home. Yeah. So how can I target them, make them laugh, entertain them? And then after that, once they start sharing it, it will start getting to their community and, mm-hmm. da, 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 and just building up like that. Mm-hmm. So I was doing a lot of stuff just about like Loft Bro University and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, <laughs> Damn, like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was doing a lot of content that like, related have, around Loft no, Bro. No, no. Like, what is it? When you was have it the, was it like the an- national, was it like the anthem of when you arrive at Loft Bro? There was one. No, that was, that was um, someone else. That was uh, oh. Tyndale. That was oh, funny though. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When, when you cross the border into Loft Bro, you just say, I'm doing, Hey, we were fully dancing to that no, last day. Oh my days, man! Nah, you man. lot love them and all of that. Hey, yeah. Jack Jollins and all them, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. Good, crazy, boy. crazy. Um, but yeah, no, nah, like it just kind of went from there. I feel like once I started, once once I got the support of everyone who was within my community and mm. I was a little bit more certified and they weren't they weren't just seeing it as like, oh yeah, like, Tunji's just doing like... He's bored. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Once yeah. they started to realise that, oh, do you know what? This is actually content that I mm. enjoy. Yeah. Once you get them like that, yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. you just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And obviously, not to say that like, my content has changed so much mm. since like when I started. Mm. It's very, very different. And, you know, I'll look back at some of the videos that I created and I'm like, yeah, a little bit cringy. A little bit. But it's all part That's, of the yeah, process. You get it. It's yeah. all part of the process. You can't be a af- you can't be afraid to look silly to some people. That's it. Like because yeah. you will it. look silly you to will. everyone. Yeah, man. To someone, sorry. Yeah, you know exactly. To someone, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you can't you can't tell what someone's gonna perceive of you. You've just gotta do what is true to yourself. Yeah. You gotta figure out your own strategy yeah. and just go from there. Do you know what I mean? I just did it. I, I experimented, boy. Like, I was just doing all types of things until I realized that, like, music was my pocket. Mm. And once I realized that music was my pocket, I could then actually start kind of like um, experimenting within different pockets of music. So whether it be like, obviously now I do like commentary and then I also do kind of like skits but everything is revolved around music mm. so I'm, a, I'm able to bring my acting in but I'm also able to bring in my knowledge of just music and I suppose like my critique kind of nature into it so once I found music and I was like yeah boom this is what I'm going with that's when like I was like yeah cool let me go ham with this yeah. and then yeah, yeah. it's kind of like Rest kicked off from there really so yeah man it's, wow. it's, it's it's an interesting journey I'm sure everyone listening to us knows about lockdown tea but if yeah, you don't probably. You need now <laughs> to go and check him out. Like, honestly, I'd be rolling. <laughs> legit. Um, for real. But yeah. For real, for real, for real. Thank well, you. um, as usual, as you would know, we have two segments. First segment is rating our week. So we rate our week out of 10. Took it from Royal Boys, in case people want to know where it came from. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically just reflect on the week that we've had and give it a score out of 10. Just in terms of where our mental health is and stuff like that. So, 
Maybe I could pass to you to go first. Okay. My week has been long. Yeah. We've how, been long. how was Stormzy's um, yeah. birthday party? Oh, that was great. Yeah. yeah. That was great. I can't lie. The video was with Danny Dyer. That was, that was, that was yeah. so yeah. funny. I'm up when I thought he was going to kiss you, you know? Uh, when he grabbed well. my face. Yeah. I was thinking. No, but that's just the. That's, that's about like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Nah, he's a cool guy still. But yeah, nah, definitely thought he was like, I was like, Yo, like, what's yeah. going on here? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really. no, like, yeah, Stormzy's 30th was very, very good. Nice. Um, it was just great to be like in the same room as some yeah. great people, man. Yeah. Like, some great, there great, some great people. Big yeah. names. No, nah, big yeah. names still. Big, big names. Um, so yeah, no, nah, that was a very good experience. I can't lie. And sorry, just to just to cut you there, like. Mm. How was the invitation? Like, how, like, because for me, yeah, if someone emailed us and be like, oh, Stormzy wants to invite you to his thing, I'll be thinking, what's this spam email? Like, <laughs> no, you know, no one's there. But like, how, I don't know how to, how to ask the question, but like, how did you get invited? How did you, not how do you get invited, but like, how is the like invitation process? Because I'm just thinking, like I said, if someone was mm. to email me that, I'd be like, this is probably a fake email. Do yeah. they, is, it, is it like part of his team that contact you or is, is it, it agency? him directly? Nah, so the situ- You'll be so pro- No, be I so know, pros. I know, I know I mean, probably some, some people, people got like yeah. a directing yeah. yeah Me personally um, I I work with a lot of record labels, innit? Yeah Yeah So I am associated with 0207 Def Jam Which okay. is his record label okay. okay And I was there to help with like content and stuff on okay. the okay. night. Okay. So I was working closely with his video videographer. Right. On the night. Okay. Kind of like doing interviews and stuff like nice. that. Um mm. for like his socials and others, etc. Mm. So that was my invitation process, yeah. if you want to kind of call it that. Yeah. <laughs> for the likes of Damson Idris and then man. <laughs> Probably a speed down yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yo, my boy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, my boy. It's a, it's a 30 year thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy one. So, yeah, they're probably just getting the call up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But, um, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was really good. It was really good. Felt blessed to um, be there. Yeah. And, yeah, we will shake yeah. a leg, work hard, play hard. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. How was your week? How was your week in general? What would you rate your mental? Okay. Um, mentally, Mentally, I'm good. Okay. Mentally, I'm good. I'm like a 7.5. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. steady. It's steady. Yeah, it's a steady one. It's not yeah. the best. Yeah. Because this week, I was doing a lot of work. Um, I was editing some stuff for Word on the Curb. Okay. So, <laughs> it was a lot. Like, I was doing, like, shifts. Mm, really? Yeah, like, long shifts. Like, mm. we were editing, we were editing some stuff. And like one of their shows, mm. and um, yeah, it was like ten hour days. Oh god! Wow. So <laughs> just I editing was like, as well. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah, screen, yeah. that'd be fun. And low key, like I almost felt like I had gone back into working, right? A nine to five. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ooh, I kind of left this for a reason. Do you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I kind of <laughs> left this for a reason, but at the same mm. time. It's it's also a good opportunity. So um yeah. yeah, that part of it was great, but also very tiring. Yeah. Um, it's taken up a lot of my week. So that's pretty much everything that I've done. But I've been trying to make content as well here and there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, overall, like everything's progression. Mm. So I, I've I've been happy with my week. Been yeah. happy with my week. Definitely. I like that. Yeah. I like good, that. good, good, good. I've 7. got a question 5. for you. Yeah. How is that, bro? How is that? What's that red headphone? The like? headphone. When yeah. I told you, yeah, hey, there's hanging. so many things about Tinji Skit that actually kill me. From the <laughs> headphones to the wig selection. <laughs> oh, it, it, where do you get your so, wigs from? Nah, for real. Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Why are you making it sound exotic? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. I'm so dumb. It's the um, mic from the sky for me. Nah, man. for real. Do you know man. what? But all like all of that is strategic. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I remember having this conversation with my brother, yeah. Um, at first I was really sad that the headphones broke. But then I started to see the value oh, so it in was it. On purpose. It wasn't on purpose. I didn't, I didn't broke it on purpose. It wasn't Did on you purpose. Not, uh, you know what? At some point, you know when it starts to become part of the yeah. actual Maybe you went to go and even find broken headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Stop beating the thing like. Yeah, for real. <laughs> no, honestly, like 
when it broke, I was really sad. Yeah. And I was like, nah, this is lit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, nah, this is joke, a bro. part of it. Creativity. Me, I would have dashed it and started ordering the next one. <laughs> yeah, literally. On <laughs> literally, like, because when it broke, I then started to, in a couple of videos, I started to use an, um, some other headphones I had. But I was like, nah, what are you doing, bro? Like, there's value in, in, in this piece. And yeah. now it's like, it's a running commentary. Like, everyone loves the broken yeah. headphones. Yeah. Like, I get so many comments nah, about it's hilarious. it. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. hilarious. And it's like, it's, it's like, even people love the different characters in the yeah. studio session. So, like, a lot of people talk about how they find the producer really funny. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Funny. And, and it's Bro. like, it's really interesting because I've, I've, I've made, like, staple characters now, yeah. right? And even kind of the way that, like, the storyline goes. And this is what comes into yeah. And this is what I just love about, like, just... Like people that are really creative Like yeah. for me If you know me Let me not go into my past life in it, But I used to love acting Like acting for me Was mm. like a big part Had to let it go Because I went for where the Miller was But the point is Where like I see I really like value People that understand yeah. Character development yeah. Understand like The yeah. smallest details Like how it just like Really like like ropes you in essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I like I appreciate your content Thank in you. that regards, man. It's really, really good. Thank um, you. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely it, it it takes time to kind of like form that yeah. strategy, I would say. But once I clocked it, I was like, okay, cool. I know that I need to have this element in there, this element in it, and this element in there. Mm. Have these characters, but then bring in like other randoms at mm, times. Yeah. But you're always gonna know. That when you're seeing a lockdown tea studio session, yeah. you know what you're getting. Yeah. But then it's like you'll get an you added piece of value, uh, which uh, they surprise. didn't expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Real. So love that. But I think that's how like you keep people in. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, there's just, I mean, a demand has been yeah. created for them. So yeah. yeah I love it. I love it. I love it. What about you, Tammy? How's your week? Um, give my week 6.5 out of 10. Ah, okay. Ah. Talk to me. No, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I was a bit lower than when we last spoke to you. Was, was it? It was nine last time. Oh, oh wow. A real oh, fan. Well, um, Talk to me, Tommy. Well, um, well, they took my car. Dang. Huh? Toad. <laughs> Sorry? Toad. No, 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 no. no. Bailiff. Went... <laughs> what? <laughs> Not the bailiff. Not bailiff. No. I'm so done. No, I got into an accident like... Oh, swear. Three... Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> three months ago. So they they just taking my car to get repaired. So... Have they given you like a time estimate? Of how long they it said take. up to two weeks. Okay, that's not bad at all. Yeah, but I just Hopefully feel like I feel like it's probably going to be longer because mm. of the actual damage to my car. Mm. Are you are you good from the car crash? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it was fine. Like okay. it was traumatic in the time, but yeah. it's fine now. Mm. Um, and then like it's nothing really stood out this week. It's just the mm. mm. normal week. I did my second week at work at my new job. Yeah. Oh, congrats! Thanks. So I've just been sort of yeah. getting to know people and things like that, but. Mm. Other than that, it's been an okay week. Okay. Good. Fair enough. What about you, Sharon? Yeah, it was a good week. I'd give it an eight. Oh, yeah. wow. That's good for you. Love Thanks. That. Yeah. Um, work was calm. Um, my office has closed now, which is good. So I'm going to be at home with my family this week, which will be nice. Mm. Um, and then it was my friend's birthday um, on Friday. His girlfriend threw him a surprise birthday dinner, which was nice to see everyone. Then party yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. Lord. Anyway, Lord. yes, I had a good weekend. It's <laughs> good. What about you? Um, oh yeah, I was off work. Um, oh yeah, that's true. The beginning of this week, so that was cool. Basically, sl- the sleeping that I slept. Fantastic. Um, the sleeping that I slept. I mean, do you, do you feel like you still wake up? Like your body still wakes you up at the? At mm. It did, and then I have to. I, I do things in the morning, and then and I then go, go back, back to sleep. To yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um. And then yeah, I had a nice weekend at my boyfriend's um mum's birthday, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll give it a seven point five actually. That's seven point five towards eight like around that. that time. Cool. So let's do song of the week as well. So in case you guys don't know, each week we add a song to our playlist on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, just a song that either we've been listening to throughout the week or just a song we just want to add on there, really and truly. Um, so does anyone want to add a song? Tunji, do you want to go first for a smiling man? Yes. <laughs> song of the week for me. Yeah. Has it got to be a song that dropped this week? No, no. no it's okay, it cool. Any, it can be any song. It can be a throwback. It can be 10 years old. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So I got to give a shout out to J Haas. Okay. The new album which he dropped. Um, so from that album. That priest was needed in that skit from. 
Oh, 100%. That hundred percent. I actually haven't death. listened to the album. I haven't. Oh, you uh, haven't. I, no. I think lie. I've. I think I've only listened to the song with Nara Mali. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've heard that Military. And then maybe yeah. a bit of the Burner Boy one. Yeah. Uh-huh. I haven't. I've heard like hearing bit him. But bits I haven't. There. I haven't sat down to listen to Who Told You Bad Man. I haven't. <laughs> heard that. I haven't sat down to listen to that. Yeah. Song. In fact, every time now when I listen to the album, I actually skip that song. I don't know why, because really? I still like it. Yeah. But you've heard Sorry, it. but I've heard you don't skip much. the song that says Devil in Me, Demon in Me. Ha. Hey. 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 Nah, nah, let me land though. Hey. Like, yeah, no, nah, crazy what he's saying. Yeah. And like, I don't condone it at all. Mm. But when I put my music head on, mm. just critically speaking, like the way he's rapping, the way he's flowing, like mm. the way he's characterizing his voice and stuff, it is a really good song, but it's just a shame that, like, yeah. what he's talking about, like, the content mm. is I just... I legitimately cannot listen no, to that. No, I, like, yeah. I, I That's I, why I haven't even listened to the album. Yeah. Me that neither. actually scares me. I think, put, bro, you, put you off, was, right? Do you know that video that he came oh. and did one chant and thing? Oh, bro, my, my boyfriend de- sent it into a chat with hey, me and Sharon. Hey, hey. Hey. I think he did one thing on his story. <laughs> oh, bro, nah, he, he does a lot. He, start, no, bro, he, does a he lot. started off, I can't remember, he just started off with a calm thing. And then all of a sudden, listen, I'm just hearing Charles. I just, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, like, I know, literally I covered I said, myself in the Don't send me this again. And you know Please. what's so tapped? It's not even just the fact that he's doing it, but it's like, there's just something really eerie about the angle that he yes, puts his phone now. You know, I see bare yes, chest and that. Nah, he hasn't even like he hasn't even thought to like wipe his camera. Yeah, it's all like muddy and that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, 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 I think now nah, before I used to listen to a lot of J House when I was in college and stuff mm. like that. Even um some of the songs like. Some of the songs back then, even the stuff that he was talking about, they was still, still massive. Yeah, well. I think but it was more discreet. No, it's not lie. even about more discreet. I think now I'm just trying to be careful with like the music that I consume. No, 100. I and mm. sorry, if somebody's telling me demon in me, the act, that one is too blatant. Like you can't yeah, even, you can't even, you can't even disguise that. Like, you can't yeah. even be like, oh, but I he's saying it. he's yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I don't have time when he's saying yeah, he's doing. I can't consume. Like, for real. I but anyway, let 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 Tunji add the song, Sha. Okay. And then this is I want to listen to it. You can listen. Okay. Oh, I know. Just press next. This is a uh, <laughs> So I'll put Massacre on the ah, even hey, the name. Hey, <laughs> even the name. Hey, sorry, Masika, sorry, you know sorry, that? sorry, Masika. sorry. Hey, sorry, I, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But if you listen to the song, it's a very good song. Is it just him? It's just him. Okay. Just him. Just him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very. It's a very good song. Uh, no, yeah. I know what you know. These sound effects are killing me. I won't be adding that one. Doesn't appear. You know why? Be replaced with a gospel song. Do you know what I mean? Glory to God. Glory glory. Nah, what? That is so nice. I'm okay. I love that you came in and said masculine. Do you know how funny that is? Damn. Hilarious. Like I said, the killing of a multitude. Anyway, for real. Cool. Okay, thank you for your audition. Thank you for your Next is me. Yeah. I'm going to add another song. I think we've already got a song from there from Nate Small's album. Um. I'm gonna add Deep End featuring Potter Paper. Nice. Um, basically, nice. yeah. So even this weekend at my um, boyfriend's man's birthday, you know, like when like you, let me let me just close the youth, even though we're all grown adults, yeah. Hey, we're all just hey, mom, we love playing the, the youth. youth. I know that's how they refer to us, but we're actually more like 25 plus. Anyway, so um, we were all just there chilling, like just vibing, drinking, all that sort of thing. Um, towards the end of the night, and you know, like. Well, first of all, playing Afrobeats. Everyone was just vibing, vibing. If you know my boyfriend, like, Afrobeats isn't, like, his thing, his thing. Like, he will still vibe along with yeah. small, but he's not going to sing along and, like, cry and stuff like that. Like, how we <laughs> would do it. Like, we were shouting to like, Shakir, we were doing all of this, yeah. yeah? And then, like, you know, you know, we just feel bad. Like, oh, let me just let the other people, I like other genres, just get a feel. So I pass it to him now, and then he puts, he cues this song. And you know when you're trying to obviously just be like, man, like, hurry up and move. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, let's okay, get through these three second, minutes man, and move yeah, on to it. <laughs> but you know when yeah. you start actually enjoying the song that someone else suggesting, you just, you know, you know, is that from the album? Yes, yeah, so you never album. listened to it? No, I have, but I just, you know, you just don't, you, you just, just deal with the yeah. song. Yeah. Yeah. And especially in that environment, like, when we are vibing, I was like, oh, like, this actually good nice song. I was start like, tapping your no, foot. No, you know, yeah, I had to add it to my playlist. You know what I was going to say? You know when you low key on the slide, just add it, like yeah. And then, and then when you're driving, just pretend like you've always had it. On yeah, your head. Yeah, you're like, oh, you know this song? Yeah, I'm <laughs> this song. what do you mean? That is legit. What I did this weekend, so I was like, no, I have to add it to playlist because um, it's a good song. So yeah. no, that's yeah. a good album. It's a good album. For real, for real. Um, um, I'm gonna add two songs. I'm gonna add um, "I'll Take Cruise" by Dunsey. This song is so old. I think it came out when I was in like 
second year of uni. Mm. But it's just such a tune, man. I don't know what happened to a Dinsey the Engine. Did you guys ever listen to him? I mm. think he dropped one project that nobody. Oh ah, gosh, that nobody. Do that. Really... Name. I didn't see the engine. Do I, I think that's know? what happened. He has a song with um Ray as well that's really old, but yeah. really good as well. I but anyway, oh. that's I just what happened. stumbled across mm. this song today and I was like, wow, I haven't listened to this in ages. But mm. yeah, I'll take yeah. cruise, I didn't see. It's got um a couple of other people on there too. And the other song I'm going to be adding is Taliban's 2. Yeah. Um, oh, with Burner Boy. Mm. Tune, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, big tune, big tune. Yeah, for real. What about you, Tammy? I've been think. listening to a lot of Afro Swing. Okay, Afro you're still swing. on the Afro Swing vibe. Damn. I'm, I'm still so annoyed that we didn't actually go to that because I would have loved to go to that concert. I would have loved to go to that. Oh, it looked amazing. It looked I, didn't know, I didn't know Me either. anything about that. Me either. And apparently it was, it was yesterday. free. Yesterday. No, no, ages ago. The, um, what, you mean the NSG thing? Yeah. yeah. yeah well, make it, make it, it was a free, thing great again. Yeah, it was a free event. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even that, know what you're talking about. It was like a, it was like a was concert slash party because yeah. like, there was loads of people that came to perform. Yeah. I think Kojo Fans came. Mm-hmm. Ah! Um, obviously NSG, I think mm. um, who else was there? Obviously J Five was like DJing J- type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That, that was serious, like yeah. serious throwback. Timbo and that were there. Yeah, 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 crazy. So wow. the song I'm adding Watch is um, NSG featuring is it Gecko? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, yo, darling. Yeah, yo, darling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 we're taking it back. I need you to guys to listen to that song while she's driving. We're Damn. taking it back. I remember, I think you snapped it and I was like, it, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Hard. And then it took me, it just takes me back to like uni and just yeah. how carefree, just, just yeah. living, living just a living good life, life you yeah. know? Real. But yeah, I, I love that song. I think that was like, not one of the first songs I heard for them, but like, that's when I knew I was like, nah, NSG there. Locked in, innit? I was yeah. locked in. Mm-hmm. For real. Nah, for real. But yeah, I'm adding that song to the playlist. Can yeah. I just add one more? Sorry. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. I want to add one more. Asha K, Lonely at the Top. Okay. Lonely, yeah. lonely, lonely. Yeah. lonely. <laughs> but I was like, ah, Asha K sang sick. that song. Does it sound like his style? And I was like, yeah, it seems like... I like that song. I think that song could be listening to on Instagram. That real. Yeah, for real. That song is amazing. The album is amazing. But um, yeah, sure. Are you going to the concert? I will be there. Yeah. Somehow. 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 I'll find a way. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> that is so funny. Cool. But um, yeah. So we'll add all those songs to our Spotify and Apple Music playlist, so you guys can vibe along. And sing along to it. And I know a couple of, a couple of people have been asking. The link will be in the description box below. And also mm-hmm. in like the description of the episodes that we drop on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Um, cool. I know we don't have actually that much time actually. But I was going to discuss something else. But when I saw this thing blow up on Twitter, and I'm sure if you guys have I seen know it on Twitter. I what you're going to say. I just thought, yeah, we have to discuss this. Yeah. And I just wanted us to touch on it. So a girl basically tweeted and she said, I just saw my friend get engaged and I'm so vexed. Oh. I'm happy for them, but I'm upset on my days. And the uproar that has come from that tweet is like insane. Like yeah, you've got a lot of people, essentially the majority of people are actually saying that this is just bad vibes. Like for you to have that mentality and to tweet it and everything, like it's just... Crazy. Did she but give no other context than just she that? Just, she just That's tweeted what she that. Did. She just tweeted that. And other people are just like, well, you know, jealousy is like a normal kind of action, like normal feeling. It's not, we all kind of experience it. Maybe she's just upset that like she wants that thing for her, but she hasn't got it herself. All that jazz. Um, and I just wanted us to just, just touch on it. I know we've spoken like here and there about jealousy and all that sort yeah. of thing. But mm. just hearing that tweet now, like what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, I'd just be interested to know. Well, I I quote tweeted the tweet, but I think I put it in my in my cool. circles. But basically, I felt like people were taking the tweet too literal. Mm. I think for me, when I first read it, the first thing that didn't come to me was oh, because people were like, oh, she's a witch. <laughs> oh, thinking, come on. <laughs> Wish Do you know what a wish is? Yeah. Wish. People just yeah. be dropping that word Like anyone yeah. else She's a witch I'm thinking Calm down homie It's not a witch thing But I personally think that When I read it I was like It seems like She's not like She's not Obviously she said that She's, she's happy for her friend But it's more so upset that Maybe that's not happening In her life And she and you know, sometimes when when you're younger and then you go, you're going to school, then you've gone to uni, most of the time, everybody's like on the same level. Mm. But then when you finish uni, yeah, 
the difference people is just mad. go in completely mm. different directions. Mm. Like obviously, when you're growing up, everybody's at the same level. Mm. Maybe you get to college, some people stay one year back, but everybody still goes to like mm. everyone's kind of in the same space. Yeah. In this point in my life, I have my I have friends that are married, I have friends that have children, I have friends that are have moved country, I have friends that I've got mm. friends in all different types, in all different lanes in their life. And I'm probably thinking, and I'm probably thinking what she was saying was that. She's upset. Maybe she's like she's not there yet. Sometimes when you're going through things with your friend, you sometimes want to like have the same kind of journey with them as well. Not saying that that's always going to happen, but it mm. would be nice. Like you know, like you know when um, some people like they'll get engaged around the same time, they'll get married around the same, and mm. those are the type of conversations that we having. But I'm just thinking in her instance, that's probably what she's thinking about. Not that she's like so. So upset about her friend, like maybe mm. I don't know, but that's how mm. that's how I took it. What about you guys? I can't lie, she knows someone's cheating. Huh? Is that what you think? She knows someone's cheating. What? She knows someone's cheating. Think about it. I'm taking it left, but think about it. Wait, hold on. What do you mean by someone's cheating? Like who? She's saying I'm so sad for her friend. Why are you sad? You must know something. You think so? You must know something. That's not. I did, I did not we need that context. Was... We need more context to the situation. Yeah, no, true. but she was like when people were. Responding to her like, did she yeah, respond to she, them? Yeah, yeah she what responded did she say? to them. Someone said, "Oh, your time is coming," and she said, "Like, oh, love you, like, thank you, like, yeah." So I, 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 think, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's damn, that. Damn, damn, that's an angle I didn't even think to. Even think about that. Open yeah. your mind. Open your mind. <laughs> now, nah, you know what it is? Yeah, <laughs> like in that kind of situation, too many people look too much at what other people are doing. Mm. As you're saying, everyone has got their own lane. Everyone has got like their own mm. journey in life. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't be. You can't be sad for your friend because they're getting married. That's mm. crazy. I think, she, I think, she I don't think sad she's for sad for herself. herself. She's, sad, she's for sad for herself. herself. Please explain yourself better I, than... I was going to yeah. say, actually, that how I felt when I read the tweet was she didn't think this was going to blow up. Like, that's yeah, the course. first thing I thought. Because yeah, she didn't know. if she had known, she would have added all this extra context right. that mm. is required because mm. I genuinely didn't read it as like, oh, she's so jealous. I'm sorry, but your friends probably follow you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Are you going to be saying that you're so jealous on a worldwide stage where your friend can't see yeah. you? Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? You know I what genuinely I thought, thought... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I genuinely thought that she actually was just sad for herself. And that's basically what she was expressing. Yeah. Um, but she didn't know it was going to blow up. Otherwise, she would have added the extra, like... Do you, do you think I mean? there was some sarcasm in the tweet? So I thought... Probably, this is what, this yeah, is what I probably. thought. I thought, you know how it's like, oh, like when you're, when you're like doing up city girls and all that with your girl and then they're, oh, they're yeah, going to get like, a boyfriend. Like, oh, no, facts. Oh, and I thought like... Okay. So I genuinely yeah. thought of it like, oh, now like I can't even enjoy it. Like I'm so vexed. Like I've lost the person that I go and do. Yeah, my and you know what? They with. probably had a conversation before she tweeted it. Like yeah, they probably had a conversation right. around that before yeah. she tweeted yeah, it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm, but I hope so because some people are just very rude. <laughs> but yeah, I genuinely yeah, did. I, yeah. I, I took it like, oh, she's lost her friend. That's done. Yeah. Like you know, what I mean, who read shit? We I never took it. I like never took it as negatively. Yeah, as everybody was taking it. Mm. When I say, I'm telling you, people were calling her witch. Oh. Drop your if the friend if you're if you're reading this the friend should drop should basically drop Drop that that girl as a friend Mm. or like people were doing think pieces like I saw one tweet it was like um not all not everyone of us are gonna get married you have I'm thinking (laughs) but I know I don't want to out people but I do I think I've never been engaged um but I have heard though that like. This is actually sometimes a reality. Maybe not for this particular girl, but there's a thing where when you are engaged and you're planning your wedding process, people always say it's so revealing. Like you actually oh, yeah. start to yeah, learn 100%. so much about people's intentions towards you that mm. I don't I don't want to out, but some people have said openly on like their platforms that there's they've had friends that essentially said that I can't be involved with your wedding because. I'm triggered by it because I'm in yeah. my own situation. And Let me speak on that. You know what's crazy? Know. Okay, go on. I was just going to say, <laughs> that mm. situation, one of my friends told me, yeah, he he, he said he wasn't going to be his friend's groomsman. Because? Because... <laughs> <laughs> he because he knew that his friend cheats on his No, no that one I understand. <laughs> that one I understand. He knows he knows his... Sorry, can oh. you just say that clearly oh. so our listeners in the back can yes, hear what you true. just said? One of my friends said that his friend asked him to be his groomsman. 
And the guy said, I can't do it because I know you cheat on your missus. Oh, that is, what? that is, I respect that's it. A, that's a friend. I respect it. And it's, well, it's, it's not. I respect forever. it. It's, but I'm like, I'm like, do, do you not just, maybe just go. Just. He's you, not going you, to the you, wedding either. I, 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 don't, I don't know what mm, he decided to mm. do. But maybe it's just like, just go and just. Show no, your face. But you know those tweets where it's like, oh yeah, when you're the way you'd be dancing and eating jello fries to your friends, you after you told friend your friends to, to leave, leave him 16 times. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, but my whole thing is that I don't know. I, I guess as people get older, they stand strong in their morals. And mm. if they feel like they don't agree with that, why would they be there? Dancing yeah, because, in, dancing is it not in better with one to, of the bridesmaids. Is and, it not better for him to not attend than for them to say, is there any reason why these oh, two should not be joined together in matrimony? And he God. said, my conscience uh, is killing me. Okay, I know so apparently, even with that, sorry, I know it's random, just throwing random things yeah, in there. But actually, in reality, like in real life, like, if someone actually even jokes about it, yeah, they have to take, take it seriously. Yeah, 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 Put you open it tries, on. yeah. Crazy. Hold your lead. Crazy. That's why you have to be crazy. on the guest list. You have to be <laughs> checking <laughs> who is it I is yeah. to this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want anybody there that's just gonna just mm. mess up the whole day. Yeah. For real, too many jokes this man. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Yeah. I have too many clowns at the wedding. For real. Cool. But yeah, like when I saw it, like that's genuine what I thought. I thought it was a whole city girl thing. I'm losing my friend to, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm gonna have to do city girl life by myself. But um, it was very interesting to see, like you said, uh, Tammy, like people's reactions were like Fine. mad. Like, but I get it. Like, I've never, I don't, I don't feel like, and this is a question I want to ask quickly. Have you guys oh. ever experienced a jealous friend? Like genuine jealous friend where you're actually like, rah, like you are, I can't lie. Look at your twinges faces. I can't lie. <laughs> you're kind of jealous, you know? And like, how has that affected the relationship you have with that person? Be real, guys. Sinji has something on his heart. Yeah, for real. No, because I don't know whether it's like true or not. Mm. But, perceived is perceived as fine. Yeah, because mm. I don't know. Sometimes you just feel things. Yeah. But you're not sure whether yeah. it's certain or not. But I mean, the way that it made me feel was just like confused. I can't lie. I was a bit like, right, like, well, like, you're not happy for me. Like, mm. I don't really, I didn't really get it. But then there's a lot. I suppose there was a lot more within the situation as well. It wasn't just like a one factor thing. Mm. So, Had, are you still friends? Are you still friendly? Are you friends? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, Loki, you're asking too many questions now. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> I feel like I might even know who it is. Anyway, what about you girls? What's the question? Like, have you ever like uh, felt or had a someone that you was considered like a jealous friend, and how have you navigated that friendship? Like, are you still friends with them? Like, how how has that made you feel as well? Witnessing that. I don't think I've had a jealous friend, but I think I've been in situations where people might be jealous of like a certain something in the moment, something in the moment, yeah, or I like just about maybe like okay, so like I know that I'm quite privileged in like my my growing up and things like that, mm. Mm. but then you know sometimes you make some people will make like. Comments like, mm. oh, um, what was the comment that someone made? Something like, basically just like insinuating that, oh, you have this because mm. you're priv- like you're privileged. Like mm. not everybody has, not everybody has, what's the word? I'm trying to think. No, I don't get what you mean. Do you know mean. what I mean? Like not yeah. everybody has the privilege to be able to have this or have that. And I'm kind of like. And they said it in a way that, because I feel like in and of itself, that's not necessarily a bad thing to say. No, but, but it's saying say it in, in a way, way for me to be like, oh, feel you, bad need about, to, like, you need to like cool down, yeah. cool down mm. kind of yeah. thing. Like yeah, they're trying to humble you, like just mm. kind of yeah. humble yeah. you and be like, oh, yeah. not everybody has that same experience that you do. Mm. Not everybody, like you can't think, like people try to be like, oh, you can't think the way that you think because you're not coming from A, B and C because you have this A, B and C. And I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, which is true. But I don't want anyone to think that because I've been privileged to some sort of things that I can't relate to yeah. other people's struggles or things like that. I'm yeah. still a person that can relate to people like that. And I do acknowledge that I am privileged. Mm. But I know sometimes they, people just make comments like that. Maybe they're not like a jealous like friend or something like that, mm. but they'll make you feel like mm. a bit bad. Just mm. yeah. 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 What about you, Sharon? Um, similar, like not, a, I wouldn't say the person is just jealous of me all the time. Like mm. I feel like, 
that would be weird and they probably wouldn't be my friend anymore. Mm. But definitely like situations where in a particular moment, like they're jealous of that thing, if mm. that makes sense. Mm. And I think like even actually, do you know what? Let me not even be giving examples about getting too late. Yeah. I I definitely have felt it. And I feel like I speak on it quite openly because Especially when we were like younger slash Actually to be fair I still feel like people kind of do it now And I don't know whether jealousy is the word But one thing that I always caveat is that People have this perception of me And I feel like maybe it's just maybe the way that And I feel like it's easy to have that perception of Like various other people In terms of how they carry themselves You just You see certain things and you just assume that Mm. things are great So like people will say to me I remember like back in the like how many years ago when it was like, okay, cool, like Beatrice, she used to like get these sort of grades and then she went to uni and then she got this sort of job and she drives this sort of car. And it's like people always used to like be like, oh, like they used to like use that to define me. Like I don't know how to yeah. explain it. And yeah. then they would say like, oh, like, oh, not I wish, not like, not even like a wish thing, but like, I don't know how to explain it. I, I do feel like there was an element of jealousy there, but I'm always saying it. I'm always caveating it by when I notice that people do that because people do it to my face. Like they would come and say like, oh, um, especially back in the day, I remember like, oh yeah, my mom always used to say, why can't I be more like Beatrice? Like, and I don't know why like oh, you do like certain things. I used to get that like, bears. And I always tell people like, just because you hear or you see X doesn't mean you know what's going on behind the scenes. And we've we spoke about this before in terms of just like, even just driving certain cars, even Damn. just like having certain like, ex, you know, jewelries, bags. Like, it doesn't mean that this person is like happy. Mm. Like people can still be, and, and you know, people will be like, oh yeah, like how can you be upset when you have X? Yeah. Bro. Yeah, because there's levels. Yeah, there's layers. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean. Like, and and, and obviously, I feel like everyone goes through this journey where it's like, oh, you say, oh, when I earn this amount of money, I'm gonna be so happy. Yeah, you yeah. earn that money, and you're like, rah. <laughs> <laughs> My I ain't still... happy, y'all. I need more money, or yeah. I need something else. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, I feel like there's an element of jealousy there where people look at other people and say, oh, because oh, I, I know that when I have that, like, yeah. I'll be happy. And this person isn't happy. Like, why mm. are they? Do you know what I mean? They then start judging you for, yeah. for certain things. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to just... And I know, and I know we've spoken about it on the pod before when in terms of jealousy where you can be jealous of something, but it's not like it's a bad emotion to have. You could be jealous of it and be like... I want that thing. Let me go back and work hard and, mm. and go and, yeah. and like, yeah. make myself. Yeah, yeah. not that you're the, condemning the person for why do you yeah. have it all. And that's the and that's the point I was trying to make on the tweets as well. I was like, when I was tweeting, I was like, being like someone was going back and forth with me. I'm like, being jealous is not a negative emotion. It depends on how you act on mm. the jealous, the jealous emotion that you feel. Yeah. Because, like I said, you can, you can, you can be jealous and use that as a motivational. As a motivation for you yeah. to be better or do something else and get to another level. And still, and still celebrate the person. And still celebrate yeah. the person. Yeah. And still be happy, but, still happy. but you'll be like, ah, Sharon has this. Yeah. That's possible Let for me. me. Go Let me back try to the drawing board and go yeah. and make myself yeah. and, and get to that level. Or yeah. Sharon's got, like, do you understand that? Yeah. Or, I feel like, I'm not even going to lie, like, that is probably what um, even stems every, all of us, what isn't it? Drove me to like yeah. work hard and yeah. get into the career that I'm yeah. in. Because when yeah. I was in school, I was like, hold on a minute. People's houses are like this and they're yeah. like that. Like that means there's money to be made in yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It started off from a like, oh, I wish I had that. And then I was like, let me make it for yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Literally. I've definitely learned that actually, because I've, I've I've been experiencing that recently myself. And I've been trying to check myself. Like, mm. there's like Obviously, in a content creator scene, like mm. so many people are doing good things and whatnot, and mm. you, you sometimes you don't look at yourself and think, okay, yeah, like I'm doing good, like yeah. you, you know. But then you're also looking, this person's doing much better, mm. and I've actually like realized that with one like specific content creator, like I actually I love him so much, yeah, and mm. I love the stuff that um he does. But like sometimes I find myself like, oh raw, like how come I'm not here mm. there, and, and I'm thinking, yo, T, like. Check yourself, like mm, yeah, yeah. this is but a bit not, weird. It's not, yeah. But it's actually, it's actually not. Sometimes you shouldn't see it as a negative. negative. Yeah, because yeah. especially if it fuels you, yeah, like, no, what yeah. I can do this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like how yeah. you act on it. So it's what you're how saying you is right. It's how you act not, on you're, it. Saying, you're not saying that, oh, he doesn't deserve. Yeah. Or like, he's not worthy of it. Yeah, like, I should be there instead of him. Yeah. It's more like, raw, like. 
I wow, see what so you're doing. doing yeah. Nah, me too. Let, let me go yeah. back to the drawing yeah. yeah. board for real. And, and plan myself right. and then to get to that level. Literally. And that's yeah. that's the best way of flipping any like negative emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I suppose yeah. we all have the negative emotions and we all have the good emotions as well. I can't like. lie to you. I'd be lying here if I say a lot of the things that I've said in my life have been based on what I've seen other people being able mm. to do and notice yeah. that, you know what, this thing's actually achievable mm-hmm. yeah. in some regard. Mm-hmm. And you create, like, I, I don't know about other people, but when I think about my future, it's normally like picking bits of like other things that I've mm. seen that's possible. Mm. I'm not normally, and maybe this is something that maybe I need to broaden my horizons, as people would say, <laughs> but I'm not normally someone that looks at things that like nobody's ever done before, like, and been like, hmm, I need to not. be like over and beyond. Oh. I yeah, like to see like something that's been moon. done. I'm like, Fam, when people like are making wanna... when people are making mood boards, where are they cutting the pictures from? Like they're not like they're they're drawing the picture. They're getting it from other people's <laughs> yeah, lives. Literally, so please, it's there. Do your mood board and let's and let's get to work. <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred percent. For real, for real. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think like the time's come up. Unsh- unfortunately, been very, very uh, short and snappy. But we appreciate you having Tunji in the building. Obviously, we've been speaking a lot about his content. And if by now you've come to the, you've come to this timestamp, you're hearing my voice and you still haven't paused to go and check his TikTok. Please check his Instagram. Ask yourself, are you jealous? Check it out. (laughs) Ask yourself, are you jealous? Are you jealous? (laughs) Are you jealous? What's going on here? (laughs) No, but we appreciate you coming on, man. Really, really, really do. Um, So good to have you. Thank you for having me. Again, again, (laughs) for grace. Allow me to grace you guys' right, presence. Come honestly, on. Yeah, it's good, it's good. This is well. Anytime. For thank real, you, for real. You, thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. As always, make sure you guys Answer follow us. Oh, so yeah, I'll drop it in. Make sure you guys follow us on our socials. That's BTSpod underscore on Twitter, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube. That is the BTS podcast. If you guys like visuals, head over to YouTube and make sure you turn on notification bell so that you guys are alerted every single time we drop an episode. Also, guys, look out for the poll that we put on Spotify, Interact, Vibe. Well, actually, to be fair, let's even quickly before we wrap up. What was the poll last time? What was the verdict? I know you put it on the story. Um, let me quickly get it um, from the last episode. We asked if your car was getting repossessed and you needed two hundred pounds to clear the debt, would you ask your partner for the money? And we got one hundred and twenty-five votes, which <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> but sixty-five percent of you said yes, you would give the. Give, of course. Give the money. And that was 81 votes, but people said no. That was 35%. <laughs> that was 44 people. But no. yeah, the verdict was yes, people would give the money. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll add another <laughs> poll to this one um, as well so that we'll share it in the next episode. But yeah, as always, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate the love. Keep on following. Keep on subscribing. Share it. All that sort of jazz. And we'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Bye.